implementing a VCBO. So what is VCBO? It's a voltage control oscillator where you, can, you will be changing the voltage and the oscillation should be changing accordingly. So this is a basic circuit diagram where the inverter is connected to the smith trigger. The inverter output will be triangular and uh, this is a smith trigger circuit. So this smith trigger circuit will give a square output whether it is taken to the feedback and once again the circuit goes on oscillating as you saw earlier, as you will be seeing uh, in our when we, whenever you implement this experiment. okay so this is a circuit which is the actual VCO circuit, circuit where the voltage is given as input and whenever I change my voltage or whenever I increase my voltage the oscillation is going to change accordingly so this is the actual circuit and our aim for today's experiment so let us start how to implement this circuit and let us start implementing this circuit on the analysis started kit which is provided when this circuit is implemented on the LSP starter kit, so this is the connections as you can see here. What we have done is like we have given a biasing voltage of plus 12 and minus 12 from a fixed DC supply, and uh, this bias voltage can be given to the extent of plus 15 and minus 15 because the OPEMS can support a uh, biasing voltage to plus 15 and minus 15. And then the OPEM, as you can see here, uh, this is it. This IC contains two op amps, so we connected two op amps uh, for the two circuits like uh, the Smith trigger and the integrator. The outputs are shown here. Now this is the integrator output, and this is a square wave. This is a output from the Smith trigger. So this is a positive VCC to negative VCC, and this is my beta VCC to plus beta VCC. Analyze the circuit which we have developed for the VCO. So what we have done is like we have implemented a multiplier uh, which is uh, Alden log multiplier tree given in the ALS sorted kit. So this multiplier is implemented as shown in the following circuit. Uh, so this is MPY634KP it is capable of many things like now we are using this IC as a multiplier. Whenever you are going to keep a multiplier here and uh, multiply with the VC uh, this can be very useful for your voltage control oscillators as you are controlling the voltage here and the oscillations are controlled according to the voltage. So whenever you are increasing your voltage, the frequency will get increased. Whenever you decrease your voltage, uh, the frequency will get decreased. So, now we are going to see how uh, the op amp is, uh, the multiplier is connected to the variable DC supply. Here is the wire which is going, which is getting connected to the variable DC supply. As you can see here, uh, the readings of the variable DC supply cannot can be changed uh, with these knobs. So that whenever I change this voltage, uh, there is a change in the multiplication factor. So whenever there is a change in the multiplication, so the frequency of the output wave is going to get uh, increased and increased. As you can see here. So now I am going to increase the voltage so the uh, frequency is getting increased and when I start decreasing the voltage the frequency will be getting decreased. Okay and one more thing you can observe is like Whenever I change the voltage, there is no change in the peak to peak values. That means amplitude is not getting changed even though I change the voltage.